Well, The War Coming Home, a new documentary examining the link between war vets, PTSD, and suicide. And we have Fox News contributor, expert on PTSD, Shannon Walker, on the line here with us this morning. Uh, Shannon, I think what's, um, what's happening to our military is a real crime uh, when, when we have this political correct atmosphere now that we don't want to win wars anymore. Uh, we just want to win the hearts and minds of the people. Uh, and so we have a lot of soldiers being deployed, redeployed, back home, redeployed, and that they're further that they they get get further away from their family. No wonder we have a problem. What what are your thoughts? Good morning. Well, I totally agree. Um, you know, uh, when we're sending them away, and then they they're in a combat zone, and they're in that state of re- state of readiness, and they develop um, what causes PTSD, and then they come home, and then trying to reintegrate back into what we consider a normal life, but they're not normal anymore. And what I mean by that is that they're carrying trauma. Invis- that's why it's called invisible wounds of war mm-hmm. and trying to, you know, relate to their families and, and go back to a normal life. And it's not a normal life for them. It's just different. It is. Uh, Shannon, is that what, what can be done about it? There was a psychiatrist and psychologist, um, husband and wife team that worked here at Hunter Army Airfield with the 1st Ranger Battalion uh, for a number of years. And they came up with a program called uh, At Ease Soldier. How to relieve the war down range, and it seemed to seem to be helping. What 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 have you seen, and what can we do? And what tell us about this documentary coming up? Well, um, as far as the documentary goes, what the thing that we can do is you know is get educated, learn about you know the documentary talks about the suicide rate of twenty two veterans a day. It also taught you know it does you know highlight the the stress on the families. And as far as what we can do, I mean, what we do here at Northwest Battle Buddies is, you know, we provide service dogs, um, highly trained service dogs that go through about 350 hours of training, and we gift them to these American heroes and also help train them not only how to handle their dog in a professional way, but how to reintegrate life with them and, and learn how to interact with the public and answer questions and have conversation. And so, you know, one of the biggest things about PTSD is isolation. And we want to get them out into public, reliving their life, but with their service dog helping support them through that and also gain the skills about how to associate with the public who the public and being out in a busy, in, in a busy hectic place was one of the biggest fears that they have. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have veteran, you know, so anyway, so that's how we personally help. Now with Fox News contributor, expert on PTSD, heading up a nonprofit that provides free therapy dogs for veterans with PTSD, Shannon Walker. Uh, as far as this documentary goes, it hits the th- that has hit the theaters actually last week um, on Memorial Day, a reminder that our greatest battles uh, many of our veterans face are when they come home. And what can you tell us about that, Shannon? And is it is it good for everybody, including those with PTSD, to see this thing? Absolutely, I think everybody needs to see it because everybody we are all living around people who have PTSD because the numbers of returning veterans are so high. Mm-hmm. And then obviously the PTSD is so prevalent. I know. I have someone very close that's, um, that's going through some problems. And uh, the war coming home, new documentary examining the link between war vets, PTSD, and suicide. Uh, if it had a May 24th screening, how do we get our hands on this documentary now? I believe it's on DVD and Blu-ray. Okay, okay great. All right. Uh, and how do we um, how do we go about um, uh, accessing it? Uh, as far as uh, where do we go for more information, Shannon? For more information, I'd go to the website, and and that's what I would do to see where it's being sold. As far as on DVD and Blu-ray, that's what I would do. Uh, did, did you have a hand in, in producing this? I did not at all. No, I'm I'm familiar with it, but I did not have a hand. What we do is we provide service dogs. Okay. To veterans with PTSD, yes. And, and how does one apply for a service dog? You know, they can go to our, our website, northwestbattlebuddies.org, and the application is directly on there. And, again, these dogs are 100% free, free to the veterans who qualify. Mm-hmm. And um, in four years, we have paired 32 service dogs with 32 veterans. Good for you. Uh, are, or do you find yourself overwhelmed? Do you find people are reluctant to come forward in many cases, don't want to admit that they have a problem? Yeah, I find they're very, very reluctant. Um, but that's the wonderful thing about this program is healing begins the minute they do come come forward and ask for help because what these dogs offer them for their future is hope. And mm-hmm. so through that whole process, healing happens every day. And um, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to observe. 
Shannon Walker with us, who is a Fox News contributor and an expert on PTSD. You know, we didn't call it PTSD during World War II, and a lot of our World War II guys did have it. They called it shell shock or something else, or that they, they just did their duty and came home. And, uh, Shannon, I grew up in the Vietnam era, and although I didn't go, I was in the service, but I know guys who did. And usually, uh, once again, we talk about these deployments and redeployments here now. If you went to Vietnam, you'd done your service. You were there for nine months, and you came back, and although you might have had PTSD or something else, you weren't. You weren't. Th- th- there wasn't a guillotine over your head saying, you know, you're going to be. You're only com- coming back for about a year before you have to go back again. So the, all those yeah. multiple redeployments. Right. All these. I think. The, I think the biggest problem is these multiple redeployments where these people are away from their families because we. Even if there's no PTSD, which there probably is, but we see divorce rates just skyrocket, and like you said, suicide rates too. Yeah. It. That's one thing that I've personally experienced in helping the veterans when we're providing service dogs is we work with the families. We answer a lot of questions, um, helping them understand what their role is, but also watching, you know, coming into personal contact with their own personal concerns and fears for their loved one who has PTSD. And it's just, you know, and the multiple deployments are absolutely something that is happening. Oh, you know, we have a lot, some of our veterans have like four or five tours. And um, it's, it's just unbelievable that they, they live through that, but they're also coping and overcoming. So that's what, what's exciting about that. Yeah. I mean, I've seen them come back after four or five tours, and they still look like they're in college. And I said, good yeah. Lord. So they've been going there since like they were 18 or something. And it's just, it is really sad that we're not, uh, that, you know, we don't want to win wars anymore and, you know, get this over with. Um, but, uh, Shannon, thank you for your time. And, and this is a great organization. Once again, tell people where they can go. NorthwestBattleBuddies.org and yeah. also our Facebook, Northwest Battle Buddies on Facebook. Gotcha. Thank you, Shannon. God bless you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Shannon Walker, Fox News contributor, expert on PTSD, heading up the nonprofit that provides free therapy dogs for veterans with PTSD. What a, what a great calling, mm, doing the Lord's work.